Good morning, brothers and sisters. <coughs> Excuse me. Today is Sunday. It is May 22nd, and today uh, we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter. So friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. <clears throat> when at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger. They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Sing with all the sons of glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow, words dark story, to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness man awaking, knows the everlasting peace. Oh, what glory far exceeding, all that I has yet perceived. Holiest hearts for ages pleading, never that full joy conceived. Christ has, God has promised, Christ prepares it, there on high our welcome waits. Every humble spirit shares it, Christ has passed the eternal gates. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the day the, which the Lord has made. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side. I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompassed me. In the Lord's name I crushed them. They compassed me, compassed me about. In the Lord's name I crushed them. They compassed me about like bees. They blazed like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name. I crushed them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate where the just may enter. I will thank you for you have answered and you are my savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. 
You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you have given us the great day of rejoicing. Jesus Christ, the stone rejected by the builders, has become the cornerstone of the church, our spiritual home. Shed upon your church the rays of your glory, that it may be seen as the gate of salvation, open to all nations. Let cries of joy and exaltation ring out from its tents to celebrate the wonder of Christ's resurrection. This is the day, though this is the day which the Lord has made. Alleluia. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord our God, in the firmament of heaven. You are, pra you are worthy of praise forever. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, in the firmament of heaven. You are worthy of praise forever. Alleluia. <clears throat> Worship God who is seated upon the throne. Sing to him in praise. Amen. Alleluia. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. O oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> Lord God, maker of heaven and earth, and of all created things, you make your just ones holy, and you justify sinners who confess your name. Hear us as we humbly pray to you, Give us eternal joy with your saints. Worship God, who is seated upon the throne. Sing to him, sing to him in praise. Amen. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. God raised up Jesus on the third day and granted that he be seen, not by all, but only by such witnesses as had been chosen beforehand by God, by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people to, and to bear witness that he is the one set apart by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets testify, saying that everyone who believes in him has forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. You have risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Live on in my love. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Live on in my love. Alleluia. God, the Almighty Father, raised Jesus as the firstborn from the dead and made him our Savior. Let us call upon him, saying, Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. All Holy Father, you brought your beloved Son, Jesus, from the darkness of death into the splendor of your glory. Bring us also into your marvelous light. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. You have given us faith to save us. May we live today by the faith of our baptism. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. You command us to seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at your right hand. Do not let us be deceived by the allurements of sin. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. May our life, hidden with you in Christ, our Father, shine before the world, foreshadowing a new heaven and a new earth. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers and the intentions of our own hearts, lifting up our voices, remembering all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We use those sacred words of Jesus himself, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Ever-living God, help us to celebrate our joy in the resurrection of the Lord, and to express in our lives the love we celebrate. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> and friends, thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, today, uh, as we celebrate uh, this sixth Sunday of Easter, um, we would be good to remember the resurrection of the Lord. Um, that's what Easter is all about. It is this, these, uh, these days of celebrating our salvation, what Christ has accomplished um, through his life, death, resurrection, and ascension, uh, which we are marching towards. So, friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you're staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, remember to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.